found a dungeon. So this first room is just gross and wet, but then, but then this room, Tinker Fantasy. Oh, oh, it keeps going. It smells a lot like motor oil. And there's a canoe, because, you know. And then up here, there's, there's a hole. Don't, well, don't worry about it. I feel like it's necessary for me to take this opportunity to, to hang out in this spot and talk a little bit. Going on tour is a strange thing. You see it from the front for a long time. There's something sort of undeniably like cool about people who are up on the stage. Like they're physically lifted off the ground. It's less glamorous in person, but it's still cool. I mean, this is amazing. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be down here, but it's amazing. There are hard work elements, there are boring elements, but it is an honor and a privilege to be able to do this with people. I feel like I hear someone coming, which is terrifying to me. Is it someone I know? Is it a monster? Is it an employee to tell me to leave? Only by waiting will we know. I'm scared. Hello? Hello? The good news is I can protect myself if it comes to that. It's a saxophone monster. What are you doing in the dungeon? What are you doing in the dungeon, saxophone monster? Practicing the saxophone. <laughs> This isn't great. On the way to Austin, it's raining a lot. You gotta do a lot of this to move this. That was a non-ideal driving day. Luckily, it was pretty short. I feel like it's very easy to make people in music look cool, and it's also like financially advantageous to do it. Building up an image, like a brand around an artist, is vital to their success. And it's getting to be a lot of how like everybody presents themselves on the internet too. We get to show everybody our best moments and cut out all of the unpleasantness, all of the dirt. And more than ever, we have ways to get scored on our performance. We get Instagram likes and Snapchat views and pins of your special cake on Pinterest. I worry about that because just like how in school we start to focus on the things that are easily quantifiable. Maybe we're gonna start to do the same thing in life. I mean, I think we've always done it with dollars, but now we have all these other metrics. And I think that might encourage us to forget about the things that maybe aren't as quantifiable, but are in the end much more valuable. Like having great people in your life, helping take care of those people, doing things that you're proud of regardless of the opinions of the masses, strengthening your communities, and being a part of something bigger than yourself. That's just a thing that I've been thinking a lot about as we drive through the country, which has been wonderful. Thank you so much to everybody who's come out to the shows. And John, I'll see you on Tuesday.